worthy by design. Hello there, it is such a delight that you joined us on today's edition of Worthy by Design, brought to you by Advent Cable Network Nigeria, ACNN TV. On this show, we focus on the journey from girlhood to womanhood and everything in between. I'm Iberia Chims. Welcome. Now, October 11 is the International Day of the Girl Child. And in commemoration of this year's celebration, our guest, who is the convener of the Made for More series, Barista Miebaka Yenabo. It's good to have you again. Thank you for having me. Yes. <laughs> Pleasure is all mine. So she'll be joining us in this conversation on the topic, Our Girls Are Made for More. I'm sure you wouldn't want to miss any part of this. So let's dive deep into this. <laughs> Our girls are made for more. If they are made for more, what makes us stand out? I don't want us to see girls in the light of, you know, girls in primary, secondary, you know, we the girls. <laughs> what makes us special? Why should we be happy that we are girls? Okay, thank you very much. First of all, I'd like to say that from the beginning of the world, from creation, mm. scripture says he made them male and female, he made them. Yeah. So we're not an afterthought. We're created um, deliberately that mm -hmm. way, male mm -hmm. and female. Mm. So if you were born and you were female, that is the way you were designed to be. Mm -hmm. If you were male, that is the way you were designed to be. Now let's narrow down to the females. Mm. Females are interesting creatures of God. Sure are. <laughs> Everything about us, our makeup, all the hormones, the personality traits, all of that. Mm. Interesting thing about women, people say, you know, things like um, the ability to multitask. Okay. Women or girls, women are natural nurturers. That's why you see even a, a young girl, from when she's born, she tends to want to play with her doll, see her wanting to back the doll, wanting to, you know, feed the doll. And <laughs> you're wanting... How did she begin to think of things like that? It's just in it. Mm. Those are the things that make us distinct and unique. Mm. That ability to nurture, mm. to care, to want to fix things around. Some might even fix people around. True, true, true. <laughs> From a young age. She's not even learned. It's in it. And these are some of the things that I think make us distinct and just who we are. Mm. There's a beauty about femininity. True. There are many narratives in the world, but the truth is that everywhere you step into, when a lady steps in, it's just that aura. Mm. just being female. Mm. So we need to learn to understand that this is who we are, appreciate it, accept it, mm. and then look for ways to blossom into all that we are supposed to be. Mm. Talking about made for more, you know, I strongly believe that everyone has potentials within. Mm. So we need to look within, find out what has been given to each and every one of us, nurture it, and then let it out for the world to see. Mm. So say, the, so the slogan made for more, for me it came to me, I think about four years ago, it was my bed and I was just saying, Lord, what is, what, what, what's the assignment for the next year? And it just dropped in my spirit, made for more. Look, you are made for more. That's mm. a strong message. Mm. That in spite of what you hear, what people say, we need to realize that there is more to every one of us. But the more many times it's inside, it's in it. Mm. So it needs to be, discovered Unveiled. and then brought out and mm. sometimes everyone needs to recognize it for themselves because sometimes you have to see before people see you have to believe in it mm. in yourself mm. and what you carry and then when you begin to express like oh this is great but if you don't it will stay in there and be buried forever mm. so as girls we're beautiful creatures of god as females, we're beautiful creatures and we carry value. Mm. We have potentials. Mm. Our dreams are valid. We need to mm. understand that and believe that we're created for impact mm. and to show forth all. That's why God gave us a womb. He didn't give the man a womb. Mm. In mm. that womb, there's so much that he put in there. To birth, yeah. Yes. Mm. The 
the physical state of a woman when she has to give birth to a child is just we can use that as an imagery for many things. There's so much more that we need to give birth to. Mm. Ideas, dreams, mm. innovations, so much more. But let me not go ahead of myself. <laughs> All right, amazing. So I'll still hold you up on that, right? Now we are supposed to discover what's within us. Now we're, we're celebrating the girl child, right? How do we start this process of discovery? Right? You know, a lot of times it's when we have grown, we now realize that, oh, there's something I am made for. Hmm. A lot of time would have passed, right? We see young girls in secondary school, in primary school, doing some big things and they keep growing you know in that light so how do we help our girls at the tender stage to realize that hey there's more to you than just playing with dolls there's more to you than just being a girl okay first of all i'll say this that the family is the basic unit of life and every child is born into a family mm. now I agree, some kids are born, you know, maybe not mm. where you have parents who are married, nice setting, yeah, yeah. fantastic. But you see, and that's, if you look at, that's why God is so wise. God had a plan for every child. In God's design, a child was supposed to come into the world in that safe space and be nurtured. Now, many things happen. Mistakes are made. Some people choose to just have kids. Mm. But in God's design, that atmosphere was supposed to be the place where the child is nurtured. So we have the agents of socialization. We have the family, which is the first one. We have the school. Now, there are stages in a the person. There's something called the graph of life. This is in a person's life. 0 to 25. First of all, there's 0 to 10, then 15 to 25. But in that, in the broad sense of the graph of life, 0 to 25 is actually where a person is born. That's where self-discovery happens. That's where you get to understand who you are. You get to understand what you should be doing in your life. Now, at that stage now, so when a child is born, the first few years is infancy or mm -hmm. that then you have school mm -hmm. you know and then you have you know begin to be aware of your surroundings begin to make friends do different things and all of that but you see so ideally even from the home mm -hmm. the parents will look at this girl and say i've watched my girl she's very good with her hands mm -hmm. and i have a girl who is i mean she's always the one who is sharing papers up and up and down or maybe the one who is always wanting to cook up one recipe or the one who is always reading or arranging. Yes, so put together. Or the one who is even scattered. Mm. Mm, <laughs> yes. Really? But it, so now if you watch even that seemingly scattered behavior, you just begin to notice trends. True. Oh, child, even from science has shown that even babies react to music. True. So it's from the home, the parents being like, oh, this child is showing an inclination to this or to that. Or, remember, we said, so what is different about male and female is your makeup, your mm. physical makeup. Mm. But in terms of your mind capacity, oh. yes, your mind, your potential. There's no male potential or female potential. True, it's the true, same thing. True. So if parents understand this from the beginning, that look, this is a child, this is a human being, an embodiment of potentials, mm. then we're deliberate about each child. Mm. Mm. Whether she's male or female. So that look, it is my job to within the fears this child is in my home to help this child understand who she is and go into as much of her potentials as she can. Mm. So I begin to watch, begin to observe from the home to school. Sometimes teachers even point you to it and oh, your child seems to be this, your child seems to be that. Why don't we try this club? So you see schools that are getting very, very, uh, what's the word, maybe creative or interesting. They have all manner of clubs. So you begin to watch and you see, if you look at it, people, people look at the world, people like Michael Jackson began to, she was, they, be, they, they began to do music from childhood, Venice and Serena, from childhood. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm just saying that, you know, parents probably, probably just need to be a bit more attentive to our children. I realize that put, there's no cap on potentials. That's the mistake right. that used to be earlier was before when we thought, okay, all the girl child was with you after you end up in a man's, man's house. house. But the world is changing. And we need to be more aware of that. Look, so there is mm. no cap. Your potentials are not male or female. Mm. Yes, I agree that the woman in the home is the natural nurture. So this, you want this girl to grow up to be that girl who is organized and can run a home. Mm. But beyond that, there's still more to her. Mm. So that's the made for more. Not just mm. how to just one segment of life, but that she can be all that. She can more. be a business executive. Yes. She can be. There's a big world yeah, out yeah. there. 
So mm. I think it starts from the parents helping this girl to understand that, look, see, you're going to grow to be all that God has help, called you to be. Mm. And so observing the child and guiding the child deliberately, this intentional parenting mm. Mm. to begin to do mm. now. Mm. Guiding, the, so you see an inclination, it be helping the child hook up with role models or things. Remember, like for me growing up, um, when I was about late secondary school, at university, even though I mean, okay, for university, I, I was studying law, I was a law student, my first degree is in law, and but I began to tilt towards, show signs of tilting towards the media. And I'm thankful for the kind of parents God gave to me. So what happened was, we had, we had to have the conversation because it was beginning to get more and more visible. It was even beginning to affect my, 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 my uh, what's it called, my education. So my parents said to me, you know what, luckily I had this aunt who was a radio, who was, she's retired now, a radio journalist. And so what they did for me was, you know what, let's sit down, go to school, do your best. But every holiday, but the long holidays, I went to stay with her. So I'll follow her to work and be around her in the studio. So you see, they helped me. So they, 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 they didn't shut down that side they of me. They helped you nurture it. Yes. So when I was still going on my career path, they ensured that I was able to balance up the others that were mm. yearning for expression. Mm. But since some of my parents don't understand, your child begins to tilt what they said, and they're like, what's that? Oh, you know, because we think sometimes it should be the regular straight path. Mm. Mm. You see, mm. but not everybody's life of all that straight mm. path. It's being able to understand that look, see, this child is like a box. Mm. And God help me, my role is to help this child uncover and unwrap the folds mm. while I guide this child to being all that she's called to be. Because mm. even the, the one that we're most concerned about is the being motherly, the motherly instinct, you know, that homemaker. Mm. That's, mm. that's an aspect of her life. So it's one dimension. I'm very minute. Yes. One dimension to her life. There's mm. a lot. There are other dimensions, mm. and everything was put in that child by God, mm. intentionally. Mm. So the anyone you neglect, this is a part of. I, I like to see it this way that God looked at the world, and God thought, oh, somewhere down the course of, it, 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 as it unfolds, there will be a group of women who probably will be confused, who need direction. I said, okay, somewhere down the line, I'm going to create. Um, Iberia, right? I'm going to put in her the idea to run a TV program. So everything you do in life, everyone is directed by God, is a solution to a problem somewhere. Okay. Someone will watch this program and get direction for mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. So you see... So that girl out there yes. is a solution waiting so a to be unpacked. Yes. So when you understand that you're, you're careful about how you even raise the, <laughs> raise the girl child. Okay, so let me <laughs> ask you, should she be raised differently? From her brothers or from the guys <laughs> it's a very very interesting question mm. a very very interesting question i think that every child should begin a level play playing ground when it gets to the basic things food shelter education let them give them the best you can at the level that you can mm. now in terms of being domestic, I think that every child should be raised to be domestic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the way the world is going, mean, you raise that boy to just cross his legs and go to school and pass. He might marry a woman tomorrow who goes to work and needs help. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And then she's not available so much. He, he can't even do nothing. He's stuck. <laughs> and that's not good for her. Mm -hmm. Or good for society without the children. Mm -hmm. So I think that... Every child, as regards the basics of every child, should be given an equal opportunity to, like I said, education, um, equal exposure, socialization, within the, the, the best the parents can give. They should give to the children. Because so like you male said, female. there's no female or male mind or yes, potential. Yes, On capacity, there's no male or female capacity. Mm. Everyone has the potential to be great. Mm. So if you see this child, I'm raising a leader. It removes the cap of, okay, girls should do this and boys should do this. Because mm. a leader is someone who, 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 who impacts the world by his ease or her influence. Mm. So in other words, whether I'm male or female, I mean, even that child that goes to school is influencing their peers mm. or being influenced either mm. ways. So mm. if you don't put the values you want because you think a girl does only this value, a boy does only this value, you're depriving that child of the full influence they can wield over even their peers. Mm. Like you know, you're depriving the world of something. Mm. Mm. So I think that they should be raised equally. 
-hmm. same opportunities, same experience, same exposure, same education. Mm -hmm. Because we're, we're raising that child to be a leader. Mm -hmm. Some days, somewhere in society. Mm -hmm. And even from their young age among their peers. Mm -hmm. So I'll say raise them equally to the best of your ability. Okay. So you, you had mentioned earlier that, you know, the girls are not an afterthought. They were there in the plan of creation, right? Okay. So how do we change the, this narrative, you know, about girls being after boys? You know, <laughs> the boys come first and the girls come next. How do we change that narrative that is very unhealthy, you know, let me let me see let me say it as self assessments you know she just sees herself as okay the boys go the girls go yes i know it's part of our it, it could be part of some people's socialization right uh, so how do we change that narrative you know so she sees herself as being as good as who she is hmm. well it's, it's a lot of work to do hmm. But I'll say, just if you even just take a look at the world today, mm. we have the, the amazing role models out there. Mm. A woman who have it all together. Mm. So, and I would, but I would always say, if you can have it all, why settle for less? Can like, it be a woman who has a job or some sort of income, who has a family, mm -hmm. who has an education? who has great, great friends, people that love you, you can have it all. Mm. So why settle for less? Why deprive yourself or speaking to a parent or your daughter of all that she can be in life? Today we have women, I mean, look at all over, we have female presidents, mm. prime ministers, women who are doing great things, I mean, in, in the world of science, in the arts. Okay, recently we had the Tobia Musa, you know, in mm -hmm. sports, and the whole world was hailing her. It, was, it didn't matter that she was male or if she was like the success has many friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everyone mm -hmm. wants to be identified with a success, mm -hmm. you know. So even just watching the world around, realize that, let's see, if I can, if, if if my child can be this, why shape this child, right, mm -hmm. to begin to settle for less from the very beginning? Mm -hmm. But the girl that I'll say to you, sit down and ask yourself. What, what, what do I want out of life? What kind of life would I want for myself? But many times, there, I know lots of late females who have their dreams. If you actually they know what they want, mm -hmm. when there's now circumstances where they found themselves, you know, um, maybe the families, maybe um, at work, experiences of life now help make ladies begin to shrink back into. But I always say, you know what, half that one book where you sit down and you write out your dreams. And I would always say, make the most with where you are per time. Mm. The ladies who, for example, or girls who didn't have the opportunity to go to school at the secondary school, at the age they should. But, but I know of some other ladies too, or university, maybe had to get married off early mm. or something. Maybe the parents couldn't afford it. They had to maybe go live with their family as a help or something. But because they always wanted to be educated, when they found the opportunity later on in life, so it's about you, you know, and refusing to give up on that dream. Mm. Mm. Now, time might pass, but if the dream is still there before you, you create time for it whenever later in life. It's, it's never late. It's never too late. Mm. Issues, how bad do you want it? Mm. So our first thing starts with, so for the girl, even as, as a young girl, you're not too young to have an idea of what you want your life to be like. And one way that helps you, look for people that you admire. Look for people that you, you, um, you're natu you naturally gravitate to, environments you naturally gravitate to. Just take note of those things. Mm. And so there's some day, I want to be like this person. Mm. So, so, so you, you, you have role models for yourself. Mm. You can have them in different areas of life. You can have someone who, I mean, I love the way she dresses. So, so I love the way she speaks. I love, I want this kind of way I can travel around the world. Have an idea of what you mm. want. And even if it's in your own small world, let's just have those references for yourself. Mm. Mm. That will not come to everyday life, how it plays out. Mm. You might not have all the benefits today. But if you still have that, they will come tomorrow because, and then beyond having them, being able to work towards Towards them. Time. And I said, look, every day is a gift. Mm. So it's not enough to have all the dreams and not do the work behind it. So if you're in school, speaking to the young girls, you're in school to them, and I look, say, this is where I am now. And every part of life, so step one, 
prepares the way for step two. Step two prepares the way for step three. Mm. Have any young people who want all the big things of that, but will not take their basic um, junior work or senior work seriously. Mm. It's, ex it's a result of your junior work that takes you to SS1. Mm. SS1 takes you to SS2 and 3. Mm. So you can't skip the steps and want to fast track your life. So you have to follow There's through. a process to life. And so you take the journey step. So understand everything I am doing to do. So I say make the best of today. Mm -hmm. This is where I am. This is what I have. So I might be maybe my parents, fine and good. This is where I am in school. I give it my best shot. Mm. Because I want to make the best of grades. Mm. I won't sit down here. I always tell people, the worst thing you can do is to live your life envying somebody else or wanting to be like somebody else. Wanting to be like a boy. Yes, like <laughs> a different gender. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but this is you. What do you is, what I, that's how do I make the most of myself today? How do I maximize all that God has given to, to me? Right? Mm -hmm. So, for example, rather than wanting to be the boy, what is it about the boy you like, the independence? What can I have a life that people can face for yeah. independence? Yes. Yes, yes. So because I'm asked, because I would always like when I, if I see someone like, what is it about this? But I try to pick up the character traits or the attributes. So you see, you see me like about wanting to be a boy. You see, because you just want to, you know, you want to be free. <laughs> mm. But in, in, in reality, are the boys really free? They're not really free because they're also being grouped for their own mm. responsibilities. Mm. In like, they're not being the ones washing the plates and doing the dishes now in most homes, mm. which is also wrong because boys should learn to do the dishes. Mm -hmm. But I mean, even if you have a brother who seems to be free and run up on that, but look, he is supposed to also be being raised to take care of a home, being responsible. Life is waiting for him ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so if, whether or not he's taught now, but like the life will teach him later in mm. life. Mm. So you just run your own race. <laughs> mm. But enjoy the process. Like I say, I you know you're the one that might be, to the girls, the one that might be told to okay, clean the house, sweep the room. But what you don't realize, I've realized that some of these things, um, beyond the task, what am I learning? I'm learning to multitask. Mm -hmm. And you will need that skill much later in life. Mm -hmm. But then you're an older person. Even beyond the home where you're raising your kids, I mean, having to do this and do that, maybe still have a job. Even in the workplace, when I, most of us say that they prefer to work with some people, prefer female bosses, because they you're able to keep the deadlines, you don't forget things, you remember things. And that's the same with that's an ability. Mm. Same so might have been put in you as a young girl, mm. but you can take that same skill into other, other areas of, of life. life. That's yeah. why you see a woman tell you, I run a business, and the man will ask you, How, How do, do you, you do, do all of this? But the man, he just thinks monodirectional. But a woman is able to connect the dots. Okay, so from here, I'll pick the kids at two, I'll make dinner at three. I'll just, it, your brain just works in different, but most men cannot do it. So by our nature, that's what I said, we need to learn to just put, Embrace yes, it. all that we are mm. and maximize them mm. for our efficiency. Mm. Embrace <laughs> all that we are and maximize them for our efficiency. We'll go on a very short break when we return. Trust me. There's a lot more. See you soon. Worthy by design. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Governance is the act of God. Even the system of government we have now is taken from the Bible. The Lord your God is your king. That's executive government. He is your lawmaker. That's legislature. He is your righteous judge. is judiciary. So he's the king of kings and the lord of lords. Nebuchadnezzar said he reigns in the affairs of men, he enthrones and he dethrones. Therefore, Christians must be involved in every aspect of governance at every level. Martin Luther King Jr. was the one who spearheaded the revolution of the black civil rights movement in America That's that right. gave recognition to the blacks in America to today. He was the one who had the dream that put them to where they are now. And so he was a full-time Baptist gentleman. Martin Luther was the one that led the revolution against Roman Catholicism and opened up Protestantism that brought up the Renaissance and the Enlightenment and the development in the arts and the sciences today. So we as Christians, we are the light of the world and the salt of the earth. We must directly take charge of God. Governance. Politics or governance is running the affairs of a world created by our God. Worthy by design. All right, welcome back. We have been talking with the amazing Mebaka Yanobo. I got your name like. Yeah, you did. You know? Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs> so we have been talking about our girls and the fact that they are made for more. I, it just made me feel like a girl again. 
<laughs> like a baby girl. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so we are made for more and we've had a very interesting conversation on covering the deeper sides of us. So if you know you've missed any part of it, please do go back to the commencement of the conversation and take every bit of the lessons she has dropped. So we're moving forward, right? No, we have talked about the fact that we should view our gender as a special package. Mm. You know, we are made specially for a purpose to solve a problem. Now, you had mentioned partly about having mentors and role models. Now, let's focus on that. Yeah. How can our girls, right, choose role models that will help them gravitate in the direction of their dreams or their potentials? Okay. First of all, who's a role model? Role model is someone who you aspire to be like. Mm -hmm you admire and you um, you would want to be like mm. you know so that thing together and then I would say based on values okay so values are the things that make up this person mm. right so when you're looking at the person for example first of all I think you should even know what you want to be mm. okay, or that what you're you. looking yeah. at right mm. Understand the direction you would want to go to, the direction in which you want to go. And you know, so you're not being looking for people in that field who are doing great things. And we've said earlier that there's no limit to your capacity. So I always tell young people this, or oh, girls, we're talking about girls, mm. right? Girls of all mm. ages, we're all yes. girls. Yes, girls. <laughs> yes, I'll say this. So first of all, ask yourself, what field of life would I want to play in? And I have always told, I was always told, you know what, look for the best in Nigeria. Who's the best in that field? You don't have to yet know the person. Mm -hmm. Just randomly Google, who's the best in this thing? That's one. Who's the best in Africa? Who's the best in the world? Mm -hmm. Just know them. Read about them. Because sometimes you're limited by knowledge. True. Very true. So mm. the, what, what, the person you think is your mother's be the person you know. Mm. <laughs> I'd be somewhere in the somebody somewhere in the world who you don't even know mm. who is doing amazing things. Mm. I would even open up your mind to possibly. You know, some I've, I met people who felt they were in course of my work around made for more. I do a bit of life coaching. I met people who come to me and they, they and when they tell me I want to, I say why? Let's, they, we talk about different and they realize that. And they tell you, you know, you made me realize that I'm not, I'm not crazy after all. I'm not stupid after, after all. Because now you tend to talk to the wrong people. They don't understand what you're talking about. It's just, unconsciously, they try to shut you down. Mm. So sometimes they, the best in that field of the inspirational look might not even be in your immediate environment. Mm. So I'll say, first of all, do you even have an idea of what you want? Maybe you see yourself doing big things in the corporate space or on TV or on radio or in medicine or whatever field of life it is. Yes. yes, in tech. Yes, in tech. <laughs> you know, you have, in fact, it's interesting because before, there are not many ladies in, in the field of technology. In fact, the whole STEM field, science, mm. technology, and all of that, mm. and lots of scholars, because they're beginning to realize that, look, see, there are no fields that are female specific, that mm. female engineers, or those that women do not naturally gravitate to. Mm. But now, there are lots of scholarships in those areas. So, women who are thinking out of the box have interesting opportunities. Mm. The world is going, it's, the world is a global village. Mm. So, I'll first say, you know what? Find out that area of life. Remember, I said we're all called with solutions mm. to something. So mm. there's no idea that is crazy. No idea is stupid. Mm. No idea is um, is uh, for lack of a better word, alien. <laughs> you know, from mm. this, from the mm. blues. Mm. That just might be somebody somewhere who's yes. in, who there's nobody. Just Google somebody doing something close to that because you have to have an idea. Because you might not have it fully formed together. Mm. Whatever those thoughts are, just randomly go. That's why we have Google. Mm. Find out somebody who is in something close to that in in Nigeria. First, let's start from home, a Nigerian mm -hmm. audience. Mm -hmm. In Africa, in the world at large. Mm -hmm. And that person can even be, don't fuck, can be a role model. So mm -hmm. you begin to read about the person. But then I read a lot of books about opera. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could tell you Oprah's story from when she began because I really just loved what she was doing. So for people who are doing things in that space that you know you would want to get into. Now, this is relating to maybe work and career, mm. all of that. Even, uh, even the way, somebody, even, even as little as dressing. Mm. I mean, I just love this person's dressings. Mm. I love the way, because like we're, we're being influenced every day by people, whether we like it or not. Mm -hmm. But you see, what we're saying is that you can deliberately, deliberately choose your role models. Mm. 
Because what are you like? There, there's no state of being static in life. You keep moving. As 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 you wake up every day and walk down the road, unconsciously you're being consciously and unconsciously you're being influenced by something. Mm. But what's that? Look, see, if what is before you physically is not the best example for you, you can choose not to follow that. You can mm. choose to find out what works for mm. you. Mm. Mm. What for you connects to that thing you carry on the inside. Mm. Mm. So we all need that reference in life. Mm. Now, say to parents also, if you have a child who is showing traits, please look at them and do, do, don't shut them down. Mm. Look for people maybe in church, in your family, in look for people who can guide them around mm. based on things they express. Look mm. for that uncle, that auntie, mm. who when your child says, "Oh, maybe mommy, I want to do this." That's one thing I'm so great. My parents did that a lot for me mm. growing up. That's why today people tell me, "Ah, you do this, you do that, you do that." I'm like, eh. <laughs> mm -hmm. But that's because it created that environment. They always keep up with that uncle in church. My own, my own space was church. Mm -hmm. Or that auntie in church who maybe is doing this in this. So go and talk to them. Mm -hmm. And you come back and realize that, ah, you come back so happy. So you see possibilities in your spirit. Mm -hmm. So if there's nobody to do that for you, you see that, like I said, before you even meet the physical people, you might have ideas, but there's nobody around mm -hmm. you to um, physically relate with. Mm -hmm. But let's start with the internet. Go and find people who are doing things like that mirror the future a, is yeah the future you see for yourself mm. if possible i'll say read their stories read their book read the articles they've written listen to interviews listen to podcasts because the world is a global village it will stir your mind yes don't say there's nobody around but i'm sure if you look there there will be somebody around but mm. just in case there's nobody around you i'm thinking that person who maybe has, i just haven't found that person go mm. on google and find out mm. trust me you will find something an article a book you will find um, an, an, an audio interview. You will find mm. a podcast. You would find something. Mm. Then secondly, around now, like I said, start, start from Nigeria. Mm. So begin to Google also. Well, who's the person doing great things in this field? You will find somebody. Mm. And then also, we need to learn to be more open. So for example, you have things like... Um, now, I mean, the holiday season, there's a lot of things about summer calm, this calm, that calm, but the school schools have just resumed, mm -hmm. you see. So parents, also, don't, don't, don't cage your children during such seasons. Let them go out and explore. Mm -hmm. A chance is about, I want to learn about robotics or AI or something like that, artificial intelligence. Oh, and it might cost you a bit more, but you see, you're going to open their minds broader. Mm -hmm. School mm -hmm. is good. I believe in academic, but I believe that there's more to life than the academic, the social side of your child. Mm -hmm. So you need to expose them to those That things. could even help them do better in the academics. Yes. Yes. So decide that you're going to give your child, like I said, the best you can at whatever level you are. Mm. If someone comes in church, in school, in all over the place. So mm. parents also go online. And, and like I say, the truth is that if you're not careful, you need to be deliberate about the environments you the allow your children to yeah. go to. That's yeah. why you need to be aware as a parent. So that they, when, they, when they mention an interest, you help them. Okay, let's search. Mm. Let's see. Could there mm. be somewhere around? Mm. And don't, don't think, it doesn't always have to be expensive. Mm. Lots of adults who are running mentorship programs all over the place. Like her. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. I used, run, I used to run a boot camp for kids. We didn't do any one this year. But because I always believe that there's more to every child. We mm. just need to bring it out. Mm. And in a world where values are being eroded every day, we need to deliberate about how we work. Right I mean, I, for a person, I realized that. So kids, I, I mean, I have my nieces, nephews, I have my friends. I'm not my boy. I just realized that the kids are so smart mentally. But when it got to values, Something when it got to missing. the basics of life, and that's because parents are really busy, you know, so much as well. there was just a lot of, there was a gap in that area. That's what, so I just took some of the courses I had created for adults and began to cascade them. And we got a few friends who worked with kids and we created that boot camp. Mm. Because we used to be whole children who are whole in their minds, in their bodies, in their souls, in their spirits. Mm. Because if you don't do it, somebody else will teach them the wrong things. And so, they'll so, grow into adults yes. who are who are and, and not, not balanced. balanced. So and again, in a world where we have the media bombarding them with things, you watch even the cartoons. You before it used to be just um, it just used to be vampires. Now they're they're bringing the whole gay thing. In, everything everything is, and it's embedded in the cartoons. Very deliberate. Yes. So we have to also be deliberate about. I said, you maybe you're too, maybe you don't even know how to. In the bootcamp, would go from sex education to their minds, financial literacy. Because I realize that maybe you're too, maybe you don't even know how to discuss it. You're shy. There are people mm. who is their passion mm. <laughs> to mm. discuss these things. Mm. So mm. please, you shouldn't do it alone. You can't even mm. do it alone because you, you never have the time. Mm. So let's you so build um, communities. Like there are people who. And I think the way the world, and you know, like I said earlier on, that when God created, the, it's also a call to 
older people when God created it, He created us different passions. Mm. So if there's somebody out there listening that we're speaking to the girl, a mm. woman today, mm. and there's something you're passionate about, you have not begun to express. You mm. just might be depriving a child, a girl somewhere mm. about the opportunity. <laughs> opportunity. <laughs> True. If you're a girl who is going down the wrong way because you have refused to write that book because mm. you feel, how would they read the book? That imposter syndrome. Mm. You know, we feel, ha, if I read the book, will it sell? If I start that um, program, will people come? Mm. But to be honest, every day you sit on that idea that God gave to you, Somebody somebody's is. going around in the wrong mm. direction. Mm. So we need to believe in ourselves. And, and even if you try and, and it fails, keep trying. Yes. So the fact that you fail at something, shouldn't scar you for like it was an it just happened mm. so pick the lessons and move on every person you see succeeding mm. had failure at some point mm. and because i mentioned imposter syndrome let me speak to it mm. you know somehow i think lots of ladies have this just because you see in the workplace for example you see the men just seem to be over even when they don't know what they're saying they just because <laughs> they just stop <laughs> use confidence they just you know yeah. and so if you have even said something a man will come and look at you in the face and say the same thing <laughs> i feel cool <laughs> You know, I was at a time in my career where I always wanted to do something, right? And when I was still trying to build my confidence around public speaking and good, you I did so. I used to do, I used to anchor events outside the office, but in the office now. And then I was imagining, I made friends with even the guys who were in my place of work then, who were the um, compares for the organization. And the one day, one of them comes and says, "Girl, tomorrow is International Women's Day. I don't see why I should anchor this event. Ask about, come, let's do it together." Do you know that day was like I almost. The yeah, opening had come now, but you know all the voices in my head. What if you mess up? This is work. What if this? How would they react? Has a lady ever done this? And I had to do. So those are those are ladies are prone to that imposter syndrome. I'm not good enough. You must fight it. Yes, but we realize that look, I was made for a purpose. Number two, my I carry solutions to the needs of somebody out there. You might not even know. You're just mm. expressing. I and can't you, be valid. you know the, the interesting thing about what we call failure your mm -hmm. failure may well be somebody's inspiration the fact that you failed somebody took a lesson from there and is like oh okay okay that means i can do this thing this way so yes. we shouldn't be afraid to fail yes that could be you still preaching the message of something to yes. somebody else. Well, let, let's even paraphrase it better. So, mm. you know, because it's your own life, eh? Mm. You're the one going through the emotions. Mm. <laughs> you yeah. feel like the failure. Yeah. But it's after you have gone beyond that point and you can tell your story someday and that story now becomes an inspiration. Mm. Let's, maybe we should say, you know what? Even when you fail, don't stop at that point. Press on to succeed because you'll be able to tell the story something. Something like, okay, so the fact that I'm, I'm struggling here, mm. right? Um, this shouldn't be the end for me mm. because from this, if somebody, let me, it's a story of Oprah because like I mm. read her book. Yeah. Oprah was somebody I could, because I mean, she was, she was female, she was black, she was going to break into TV. Oprah used to be really big. If you look at her pictures and big and fat, and she look as pretty as she looks now, you mm. know. And she was told all manner of things: you will never make it in, in TV because you're black. They told her about her look, but today Oprah has gone on to become. Mm. Everybody wants to, be, you know, be on. If you're on Oprah show, you have made mm. it in life. Yeah. <laughs> True, true. You see, so she had to go through all of that and believe in that something. So even at that time, the popular thing were do like what we're doing now, this um, um, TV kind of talk show, mm. were not even popular then. Mm. And then like, what audience would you attract? Mm. So, so it was for all the for she was wrong by the standards. Mm. But today she's gone on. So every time you're tempted to, because life will take get you to point where you try to give up or not even try, mm. but realize that. My life is bigger than me. Mm. Amazing. And so if I go through this, so first of all, it's I want to be all that God has called me to be, right? So I'm not going to give up now. Mm. So it's I need to run my race because this race will be a story. Mm. When I come out with my trophy, mm. I'll be able to help someone realize that look, they also can succeed. So you never succeed for yourself. Really. With your trophy or with your scars? Yes, yes, mm. yes, yes. Because for you to have got to drop, mm. you, you, you will have had some scars mm. along the journey. Mm. So we're saying don't, 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 um, don't end it in the place of the scars mm. because it's glory yeah. ahead. But the scars, to, to support what you rightly said, the scars and the joys, the wins are part of the yes. journey. Yes, part of the process. Because there's, the, the, mm. there's, there's no success, no champion who didn't have all those days mm -hmm. behind the mm -hmm. scenes. Mm -hmm. That's nobody. Mm. I'm sure even when you began to, you're not as confident as you are today. No, but no. someone's going to say, oh man, she's so cute, she's so comfortable, she's mm -hmm. so this. It is not like this. Mm. True. But if you never True. start, you will never You improve. never know how far you could go. And there's something that I learned mm. in life 
that you see, when you see people succeeding, there are two emotions that come to every person. One, if I want to tell me in, in a field that you, you, you know you have a potential to succeed in, there, there are two emotions. There's the one that, hey, go girl, ah, we're succeeding to get that great. If you can do it, I can do it. Mm. Second emotion is anger, bitterness, and jealousy. And that comes from unfulfilled dreams. Mm. Because you feel like, why should she, why should she, why should But you didn't do your own. Mm. Do you understand? You didn't mm. make the attempt. Mm. So it's the unfulfilled desires, the unfulfilled um, what ifs, all the evidence that is making you now get angry with her. That's mm. why people say women can be bitchy, but it's not true. But women who are succeeding, trust me, when you say woman is succeeding, she wants to pull the other person up. They don't have the time for all of that. Yes! <laughs> but it's when you don't take the step, you refuse mm. to grow, refuse to strip. Because every person who succeeds, they are pulling them, they're they are working the extra nights, you're not seen. Mm. They're going the extra night, they're mm. paying some prices. Mm. But you want the comfort zone, and then you still want the success. It doesn't work that mm. way. Mm. Then so when you now say like, eh, the nurse is because she has one uncle, so it might be no uncle anyway. Mm. She's just paying her dues mm. and getting the rewards that come. So if you don't want to be that wicked, and um, bitter, and angry woman girl, you go pay the price so that mm. we can all rise together and excel yeah. together and make the and world better. With you. Yes. Yeah. Amazing. Our time is fast spent, <laughs> but uh, good. I'm so enjoying this conversation. As we try to round off, yes, right? Yes. Why should we try to be more? Hmm. Are we not enough? Am I not doing enough? Hmm. There's a girl out there asking, and she feels like you're pointing in my face and telling me I'm not doing enough. So that's why I should be more. Is that <laughs> why we should be more? Okay. So let's go back with the made for most slogans. So hmm. for for me, it's about being the best that you can be mm. my reference is not a or b or c or d but like i always say we're called to run different journeys mm. our journeys in life are different mm. so even with the role models right there's an area of life they guide you to but you're not supposed to become a duplicate of them because you will miss out on your peculiarities mm. Mm. so i'm learning the lessons from you picking you know, the lessons, picking the things I should pick. But I don't lose myself in the journey. Mm. So for that young girl, I just say, you know what? The question I'm going to ask one question is, as you go to bed today, can you say that everything you did, you did today, you did it to the best of your ability? Mm. Because it's not about being better than A or B. A or B is not my reference. My mm. reference is to be the best me. Mm. Right? Mm. So it's a call to say, look, see, can I really beat my test and say, I'm living my best life? Mm. I'm unleashing all my potentials if the answer is no then there's more in you to be unleashed <laughs> so that's it it's not mm. about so nobody is your absolute standard people mm. can only really be references that's why you can say i like this about a i like this about b, i like this about c but nobody is your complete standard mm. so it's a question you ask yourself like i said you don't want to be that bitter <laughs> aggrieved mm. <laughs> angry woman mm. and if you ever feel that way about anybody Mm. And it, it tells me that there's something about you that is yet to be unleashed. Because mm. that is what is running something, your stomach. Mm. <laughs> so something is missing. Yes. So you should go and say, so what more is it that I should, I, sh I should be doing or I can be doing? Mm. So what I, like I said, whatever your hands find to do per time, you're in school, give it your best shot. You're at home, you're okay. raising kids, be the best that you can be. That's the simple message. Okay. So as we tie all of this together, <laughs> so that girl, lady, woman, watching out there what would be your advice to her in one minute <laughs> this one is really tough <laughs> <laughs> whoa okay realize that you were created unique mm. you're beautiful mm. and you're wonderfully made mm. and make up your mind to live your life to the fullest mm. that's it <laughs> Make up your mind to live your life to the fullest. What more can I say? I can't even read my conclusion. <laughs> <laughs> but all I can say is there's more to you. Yeah. Become more than what your environment tries to, you know, cap. Do your parts, your research. Look for your, we talked about role models. Get all of that together. Trust me. And take the steps. And take the steps. Yes, amazing. Do all of that. And trust me, your future will thank you. 
and we'll be celebrating together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be no bitterness. So a big thank you to our amazing guest. Oh, <laughs> you always choke. According to Nigerians, you always choke. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you Barista me. Mebaka Nyana Boy. You have been amazing. Thank, thank you so you. much. So, dear viewers, till we come your way again next time, same station, remember that you are made for more. That's because you are worthy by design and their chance. See you next time.